Hey, it's Jessica here with Thrifty Shutterbug, and today I'm going to be bringing you along to some charity um, thrift stores here in my area of Derbyshire, England. And uh, yeah, right through the gates, I'm already picking something up. No shocker there. But uh, I wanted to say, please bear with me during this footage as I'm just getting used to using this camera on this particular um or actually just using my phone on a little camera holder is what I mean instead of an actual camera uh, filming. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. I wanted to be able to use both hands. But as you can see, I'm looking through some of the children's toys here. Um, it looked to me like the Smurfs were too new. I think they said 2013. I was hoping for some Smurfs from the 80s. So that didn't really happen. The dwarves, um, I thought five pounds was too much. So I'm checking out this Scrabble. But again, I'm thinking, mm, maybe it's too new, and I wasn't too keen on the price. So, you know, um, what can I say? Really, I was just being picky at this point, but why not, right? Because uh, we got to make some money on these kinds of things, so we have to be careful what we're doing. And I'm looking through some of these linens um, that are packaged up, and here I come across these cross-stitch um, napkins. And boy, could I say um anymore? I am so sorry. You'd never know. I used to do a lot of public speaking, but <laughs> anyway, so I'm hoping to get lucky and find some more of these items or something similar. Okay, so uh, I'm literally outside waiting for the doors to open of this charity shop um, here in Derbyshire, and it's pretty close to my house, so. Yeah, I got here a little early. Uh, they have limited parking and I'm just eager and ready to go. I've already been to a charity shop um, on my street and got a couple of, well, I think three or four things. Uh, so yeah, let's see how this goes. Now the door is open, strangely, but um, online it said they're not opening till 10 a.m. I have six minutes to go. So I guess I'll just browse on Instagram or something waiting till I can officially go in. See you in there. Okay, so through the doors we go. I'm not even in the door and I have already found something to buy, which is that bag you see there. And uh, because of all the social distancing and uh, that sort of stuff, everybody has to use hand sanitizer when they walk in. I'm being a bit thorough here so I'm sorry if all you see is just me putting hand sanitizer on my hands but um, I like to look at the toys because you just never know what you're going to find and especially something like this the uh, Mr. Potato Head puzzle he decided he was coming home with me or all of them I should say because there was multiple okay so I see this vase and I'm thinking right okay I really like this the bottom doesn't look too great but then I see that chip so I put it back and it's going to stay right where it is for somebody else to love. Right now I'm just kind of uh, browsing. I do see some Bavarian teacups, but I decided to pass them by. And then I find this awesome little duck and I think, okay, he looks like a vintage toy, but there's no price. So I put him back. And um, right away I notice these coasters. Okay, if I could get that uh, antelope or whatever the heck he is out of the way. And uh, I think it's pumpernickel, not pump, oh gosh, I suddenly cannot think and I can't see that close to see the uh, brand. But anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. I really like these coasters. They had some English pubs on them. Only problem is like this particular one right here, some of the plastic coating is coming off. So I decide I'm just going to leave them behind or I'm going to think about it. If they happen to be there the next time I go, I will probably pick them up. But um, I just seem to be struggling forever with this uh, coaster box because I am a nitpicker about putting things back the way I have found them. Okay. So another thing that definitely caught my eye is this little printer, um, you know, sh well, shelf is going to be, I'm going to be putting it up somewhere. Um, I've decided to keep it. But yeah, I definitely want to keep this. Now, I'm looking again for the price. I do not see a price. Uh, and 
and I'm gutted. And I'm picking up this little matchbox thinking, oh, maybe I can just get this little matchbox. No price on that either. So moving across the way, I'm checking out the Swan. I'm not super into Swans, but I thought I'll check out the Maker and see what it is. If it's interesting, then I will pick it up. But uh, it didn't have a Maker, so I left it behind. And then this Thermos, I was pretty sure I was gonna get it, but I wanted to check out the insides, make sure everything was kosher in there. And um, again, no price, but I decided I'm getting this either way, unless they give me a price that's just way too much. But uh, I really didn't wanna leave it behind. And this little personal sized um, gravy boat was from Shorter and Sons, and I've done well with a you know some of their stuff before so I decided to grab that and here we go with these uh, little tiny records I do not know what size they are I am so sorry um, records and vinyl are really not my thing although I would love to listen to it personally um, so I checked them out more for my own good rather than resale oh and now my kids calling me so sorry about that Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I probably could have edited it out and started over again and so on and so forth, but I just kind of want to get going So, um, with this video because I want to get to the haul. And speaking of the haul, um, if this kind of thing is boring you so far or my um, you know, lack of skills <laughs> of doing the out and about bit, is not um, the quality you'd expect. Feel free to skip ahead and go over to the um, haul video or haul part of the video already. Uh, I promise I will not be offended. But um, as you saw there, I was looking at a lacquered box and before that some um, pieces where when I read the back it said it had to do with the um, coronation, so like a crown and, and that sort of thing. But um, the information on the back didn't have a date, so I wasn't sure if it's actually from um, a while back or more modern. I didn't really want anything that was like more modern, so um, I left it there. And then I looked at that little music box, but um, it was pretty beaten up, so I ended up leaving it behind. And here is a shoebox full of um, postcards and little travel photos. Um, this is something you're going to see in the haul. I was very excited about it. Still am very excited about it. I want to go through it more um, in my personal time on my own. And yeah, as you can see, I just keep looking through because I cannot decide if I want to buy these um, because I figured they're going to have to be individual, but um, I'll talk to you more about that later. And I'm looking at this here because it says that it's porcelain and uh, I'm, I don't know why it just intrigued me, but it ended up being a plate, which I thought it might be, but I was determined to get it open and, and check it out anyway. So left that behind because I'm not interested in collector's plates. Uh, not my thing and definitely not something I want to buy for resale anyway. So I'm looking at these glass paperweights. I really like the cat one. Um, this one looked okay, but the bottom was a bit cloudy. And this one here with the flower, I really liked. However, it didn't have a price and neither did any of them. So it turns out that um, since it was the first day opening for them, they just couldn't get the prices on things fast enough. Uh, bless them, they really had a hard time. They had a lot going on. Um, I mean, they were doing really well. I shouldn't say they had a hard time. That would be speaking for them, but they had a lot to do. So um, I left that uh, crystal bird like little trinket dish behind because I I'm actually trying to sell another one um, not with the red on it but uh, another one that hasn't sold yet on my what eBay I think so I decided to leave it behind and then look at this guy oh love it first sight I mean he is just adorable at least to me anyway I mean I wasn't sure if he was metal or ceramic or whatever because he looks like very rusty uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, 
So I'm looking through here for anything that catches my eye that looks vintage. Um, I saw, you know, some more modern stuff. And then there's obviously lots and lots of teacups. Uh, no shocker, as, uh, you know, there's not a shortage of teacups here in England. Uh, but I do spot some um, white and blue. Looks like ironstone uh, mugs back there. I'm checking them out. I do like them. Uh, I just decided not to get them because I didn't see the price on them. So here we are in the next shop and I'm looking at chickens. I like these chickens. Um, I have two chickens of the, like these that hold eggs um, on top of my fridge. Uh, this particular one isn't my style, but I thought it would be nice for resale until I found a hairline crack that you cannot see on the camera. So I'm glad I caught that while we were in store. But this one, this one was a keeper, especially with that little yellow chick. Um, five pounds, I wasn't too keen on paying five pounds, but because I do well with them, I decided that I really just needed to check it out anyway and see if I was going to be um, taking her home, which I did end up doing. So, let's see. Here we are with me carrying around the chicken, which <laughs> at the time I thought the face of the chicken was facing out, but it turns out I was walking around with the chicken butt facing out towards everybody. So my apologies, you're going to see a lot of chicken butt here. Uh, I like those, uh, I think they were sea lions. Uh, they didn't have a maker's mark that I could tell on the bottom. And then there, here's some Wedgwood, which I picked up and looked at just for giggles because whatever. I mean, there's a ton of it here. And this is a hand-painted teacup and saucer. I really did like it. Um, I think I didn't get it because I just wasn't too sure on the price and uh, not knowing who it was made by. But I'm watching this back and thinking I probably should have got it because it was really pretty. And here's a little dog that was made in Ireland. I didn't get him, although I wanted to because I have a bunch of dog figurines right now. I had already bought a dog earlier, as you guys saw, so I decided to leave him behind. I know, sad. He's just going to have to be adopted by somebody else. <laughs> uh, and this is a little toothpick holder with a cute little bird. So you will see this in my haul. Only £1.50. Definitely something that um, I'll have to look into later. And this... This is a nice teacup. There was a bunch of saucers there, but no other teacups. So I had left that behind, which was a shame because I really liked it. And then I do all right with these little, um, you know, stone, or I think they're alabaster. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, everybody. So I'm back from the charity shop. Uh, thrifting and I figured I would show you what I picked up and I will try not to spend too much time on each item because um, we got a lot of stuff so anyway let's get into it right so the charity shop that's closest to me I've been eyeing this in their window for quite a while while they were shut and it's this Royal Dalton Bunnykins bowl and silver spoon um, the box is well it could be in better shape, let's just say that. And it's got some, here we go, you know, some like wear down there, like some black on it. This top bit looks like maybe it had gotten wet at some point, but anyway, it's really cool. They don't make this particular set anymore. It says uh, Royal Dalton, UK Limited, Stoke-on-Trent, England, 1981 is the copyright. Um, but I can't remember when they made this because just because that's the copyright doesn't mean that's when they made this particular bowl. But I do know when I looked it up before I even went, um, that yeah, it goes for around 35 pounds now cause they don't, since they don't make it anymore, but I got it for only six pounds. So yeah, bargain. Okay. Next item is another item I saw, um, through the window just recently. So I thought, 
well, when I go in there, I'll check it out. But I got in there and I was like, well, I don't know about this dog. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, what kind of breed even is this? Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I was like, I I'll probably put it down. And I checked out the bottom and it showed this particular maker says UK. Let's see. UK. And I don't know anything about that particular maker. So I figured it's only two pounds 50. I will give it a go and educate myself. And for 250, can't really go wrong for a little bit of research, seeing how it is and if it's something to look out for in the future brand wise. Okay, so there we go. What should we name that doggy anyway? Um, moving on, I also got some uh, napkins. It's a set of eight napkins with some cross stitch with a pink flower, probably meant to be, you know, like a rose or something like that. And um, these are really good condition, uh, you know, no problem. They're all the same flower. I don't know if you can even see that. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised if these were even used. I think the person probably, oh, actually, that one has a little bit of staining. My bad. But maybe we can get that out. We'll see. But it's strange because everything else looks, I mean, there's no wear to the, the cross stitch. So that's what makes me think that maybe they weren't used, but um, yeah, whatever. Okay, so I got those for, it says on here, eight napkins, four pounds and half price. So that would have been only two pounds. So anyway, while I was, um, you know, getting my total, it came up two pounds higher than it should have been. And I said, oh, wait, that's okay, because I can make up for it. I'm sure I can find something in here that's two pounds. And I knew instantly I was going to grab these cards. They were pretty close to the register. Um, and it's this set right here. I thought this deck of cards looked pretty uh, mid-century. So I'd give them a go. And then these cards are made in the U.S. And it's uh, Caravel playing cards. I really like these. Uh, they haven't been opened, or at least I don't think so. I guess they could have been opened from the bottom now that I think about it. Uh, but the seal at the top has not been broken. So, there we go. See? So, yeah. So, my indecisiveness, I guess, came out to be a good thing. Because in the end, I knew exactly what I needed to do. Because she had already rung me out. The um, transaction had already gone through. No sense in worrying about it. A two pound refund when I could just pick something else up I was already considering anyway. And then I went over to a uh, distribution center that um, also has a shop in there. It's a charity shop that a lot of the stuff that comes into the local charity shops um, for that particular organization goes there. Uh, so they kind of sift through it first and then divvy everything out. And I really like going there. It's one of my favorite ones to go to around the area. So, um, I hopped in there and what I did so I was walking in and you probably saw this on the video and I saw this bag now this is the bag all folded up but typically um, you could unfold it and it comes out to um, you know like a, a granny bag I guess you could say a granny trolley as they call them here or a uh, shop big shopping bag with wheels so the wheels pop out and um, has its little handle and away you go. But if you're traveling and say, see my daughter had one of these that my grandmother gave her um, as like an extra suitcase kind of thing. Uh, so anyway, it folds up nice and neat. So it's something when I go back to the US or, um, you know, go on holiday somewhere else, which right now isn't very likely. <laughs> um, anyway, I could just fold this up, put it in my suitcase. And then later when I buy some stuff, use it to carry everything home. So really like that. It looks like it's never been used. I mean, this is definitely brand new for sure. Um, right. Okay. Next item. So also, as soon as I walked through the door, I took a quick look at the uh, children's toys because you never know if you're going to find something um, older or something collectible. And I saw this Mr. Potato Head. Now I actually had saw this before the last lockdown in there. I think they had a couple of them then. Um, and now with the controversy, <clears throat> controversy, I can't talk, 
with Mr. Potato Head, I thought, oh, I'm definitely picking it up. I was questioning it before, but now I'm definitely getting it. And I like Mr. Potato Head. Believe it or not, I actually have a collection of Mr. Potato Head pieces um, from Disney. Every time I go, I get some more. Or I did. I'm not sure if they still have that anymore. Used to be you could go and like select all these different individual pieces for a Mr. Potato Head. And it was really cool. I liked it. I'm a big kid at heart. So yeah, anyway, got that. And this says Mr. Potato Head 2008 by Hasbro. So yep, I'll be putting that one um, on eBay because it's obviously not vintage. So. All right. And went through this area um, that had like a concentration of uh, vintage stuff. And this one, I don't know how old this is. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Made in England by Thermos Limited. Uh, doesn't actually say, but anyway, it's definitely one of the older um, thermoses. And it, it says 350. Yep, that's right. It's one of those items I didn't know how much it was and I had to get a price from her um, because they were just opening up. So they didn't have everything priced yet. They're still putting stuff out. It's a bit chaotic there right now so bless them they got one heck of a job to do but anyway take this off and i check the inside because you never know if you're going to get something gross and disgusting in there or if the glass inside um, is in bad shape but everything's all good don't know if you can see that so i think it's really cool now would it have been awesome if it was one of those plaid ones definitely but i like this cute little size take it uh fishing or whatever or just put it in your thermos collection because some people do have that kind of a collection so okay <laughs> this guy this guy is so ugly he's cute look at this frog i am in love with him i don't know what he is let's see i think he's ceramic but anyway i mean it's a matte finish on there he needs to be a bit cleaned up but look at those big giant eyeballs. Well, there we go. So yeah, I mean, maybe you could do other stuff with them, put pens in them or something. It doesn't have to be a planner, but he is just so cute. I could kiss him, but he's dirty, so I won't. <laughs> All right, speaking of ugly, I'm not a fan of these mugs, but they sell well. And it's this um, art pottery, mug with a face on it i have seen them before on ebay when i've looked up um other things other items that some you know sometimes look similar to this and um yeah i just thought for 250 why not does he have a maker on the bottom no i can't remember who makes them there is a particular um studio that makes these but yeah i mean it's good quality very good quality nice and thick stoneware so or earthenware, you know. Okay, so I don't always pick up a lot of glass. I like it more if it's animals, not if it's just like a regular paperweight. Um, although I like paperweights, they're pretty and all, but if I'm going to have a whole bunch of glass, it's probably gonna be because if it's, it's an animal. So um, this little cat here was only two quid. I love them. Look at the blue and the yellow. I mean, absolutely brilliant. I thought at first, because of the look of his ear from afar, it looks like he's it's chipped, but it's not chipped. It's just how they uh, molded the little ears with like the little indent in there. So, okay. Put you right there, little kitty. Eep. Right. What else? So, this one. Let me tell you the story about this. Look at this shoe box full of postcards and um, little books of photos. Let me get some of these. Let me get some of these out. So look, there's, oh, that one's written on, but in a different, I don't know that language. Anyway, there are these little tourist photos. So it looks like when you went away to places, you could see like this one's Switzerland. Uh, when you went away to places back in the day, if you didn't say have a camera with you, then you could actually just buy photos of the area. Instead of just buying like a postcard or two, you could buy a whole little um, booklet. Let's see, can I get this one open without ripping it? 
already has a little tear, so I didn't want to. All right, so we just fan a few of these out. So all these little black and white photos, and each of them say on the back where they are. So this one's a chateau, right? Look at that. And there's loads of these. And I was looking through them and I thought, oh no, I can't decide which ones do I get. I want all of them, but it, I mean, it's going to cost a fortune because they're probably going to charge individually. Um, you know, there's some in here from Ireland, Italy, France, um, places that I'm going to have to look up because they're probably in the language that's native to that particular area. Um, so I can't read it, but, um, and there's, you know, color ones too. So yeah, very, very cool. This one's from Blarney Castle and Rock Close. So this one's from Ireland. It says Valentine's Snapshots. This one actually has some writing on the back. Um, is that the date? No, I don't think so. I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't have the year. It just says 12 6. So there's some writing on the back. But yeah, very, very cool. I mean, these are awesome. And as a photographer, I love old photos. You know, when people say like, oh, do you want to look at my vacation photos or my family scrapbook and that sort of stuff? And a lot of people are like, oh God, no, bore me to tears. I'm like, yes, please show me. I love that stuff. So um, this is the kind of thing that's right up my alley. Look at this one, Killarney, printed in Ireland. So I just, I, lo I love it, I love it. Um, I mean, come on, in the shape of a shamrock, for real. Uh, so I'm indecisive on what I'm gonna do with these. Do I wanna sell them? Do I wanna keep them? Um, I did discuss it with my wife and she's like, yeah, keep some. And you know, when you get bored of it, um, and this one's like a fold out. So she's like, if you get bored of them, you can sell them. But I'll tell you right now, I'm not gonna get bored of them. And Dolores said the same thing. So I will probably keep some, but there's also tons of like postcards in here. A lot of them um, not used, but some are. And I love the ones um, with stamps on them and addresses and writing. So this one's a cat one, doesn't seem to go with the rest, but who cares? It looks like it's from Holland, but it says printed in England. Okay, don't know. Um, uh, oh, there's one in here that was really neat where it all, no, it's not it. Okay, anyway, there's one, in... this is it, this is it. From Tenerife, and it looks like this, um, yeah, there we go. This one is to somebody, I won't give out names, that lived in Ambergate, Belper, Derbyshire. Um, and it says, Dear Mom, Dad, Ruth, and Julia. And this person, instead of filling out one postcard, they filled out every single postcard and sent the whole thing. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And it looks like they got away with only one stamp. And it's from... 1993 so not super old but i don't care i will take it anyway i said to the lady okay i can't decide which of these i want so how much for the whole box and i was willing to pay 20 pounds for them i thought she'd probably say more because i thought if if they start thinking about well individually how many things of say like photos there are or and how many um postcards there are and things like that and this really cool like cigarette picture card album if they start looking at these individually then it's probably going to be more than I'm willing to pay especially for resale so books like that or little cards like that I should say so anyway she came back to me she went and asked somebody and she came back to me and she said um 10 pounds and I was like sold 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 I will take it so happy with that it made my day so um yeah anyway might sell some might keep some i don't know let me know what you would do with them i know some people would like to use them as pet package toppers but i 
I really don't want to do that. Um, I want to make sure they go to people who definitely want this kind of thing. So anyway, that's that. And I also saw this. It's this little um, printing tray. It's a rather small one. And it had some like thimbles in there. I took the thimbles out and a little teeny tiny like pig. I took the pig out. Um, but it did have this little box of the champion impregnated safety match made in Belgium. So there's no matches in there. But this is the little box. Very cool, right? So that's a little match box. And I said, well, how much? How much for this? And I was expecting her to say a lot because these tend to go for more money than I typically want to pay um, for resale. And she said a pound 50. And again, I was elated. So I took it and ran. <laughs> okay, next item. So in that same section that had a lot of the vintage stuff, I found this little, um, little sauce pour, little sauce boat, little gravy boat, individual um size and it says uh staffordshire hand painted shorter and sons limited england so i'm familiar with that brand i know it's good quality or that maker and then as i was walking around i saw the bottom to it in a completely different section um not even in the same area again you know double check the maker and it said 250 on this so i just put the lot together and wham perfect right i mean so cute look at that i love it i love the colors that soft like dusty pink and that light gray oh, anyways <laughs> am i overly excited about this like i don't know i feel like i'm on a high from all of this and maybe it's because i haven't been able to go do this in a long time in person um because of lockdown or just because I'm finding stuff I really, really, truly like. Um, my wife, Gemma, said that um, she thinks it's like my best haul yet. So, you know, um, I'll take it because she's not always as into this stuff as I am. And speaking of Gemma, if you like retro video games, check her channel out. She probably does. I'm sure she doesn't need a shout out for me. She's got like, I think over 43 thousand subs on there or something like that probably more by now um since I last look but anyway tens of thousands of subs she doesn't need a shout out but if you like vintage and retro games go check her channel out because she's got loads like to the point where they take over our house so <laughs> go check that out her channel is called the gebs 24 I will put a link up here somewhere um yeah anyways Okay, last item from that shop. And I saw this because this looks like an American eagle to me. And I thought, well, that's a funny eagle to see here in England. Um, so I grabbed it, picked it up, and it was only, it's in really good condition. No chips or anything like that. Uh, the price is only $150. And then let me see if I can, fold crap. It's fold crap. Right, okay. So something that Americans will come across loads in their charity shops, but you don't see it here. So uh, yeah, that was really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna check out how much this is worth online. And if it doesn't go for much, it's probably gonna end up staying with me. Right then, moving on to the next charity shop. Now this is the same organization that I went to, um, the, you know, the last one, but it's down the road. And it's not a distribution center, it's just where some of the stuff happens to go. Uh, although they do take donations. But anyway, so I walked through the door and they kindly had these like little baskets, maybe like the size of an Easter basket um, that you could put your stuff into, which I thought was very helpful. Uh, however, I knew I would end up buying more than it was gonna fit in there. And that happened to be the case. <laughs> and I will show you now. Um, you know, they just were a little, <laughs> My first item alone was too big to fit in it. And that was, or is, this chicken. This chicken egg holder with the little teeny tiny yellow chicky. Right? So cute. I always do well with these. I sell them on Etsy. I tend to make more money on them there. I got this one for five pounds. I'm sure I'll be able to sell it for at least 25, most likely more. 
but the cold paint is coming off, you know, as you can see there, but that's typical of the red. Now here's the thing, very good condition, but I cannot find very good condition as in no hairline cracks, which I happen to see a lot in these and no chips. So um, the only thing is I could not find a maker. Nope, no maker, right. So anyway, doesn't really matter. I know that's definitely gonna be a good seller for me. Um, and I also seem to do really well with mugs, depending on the maker um, and what the subject is. So I got these old Smarty mugs. Now, those of you from the UK will know exactly what Smarties are. If you are from the US, Smarties are a little bit different than the ones we have in the US. They're more like M&Ms. So, um, Here's the mugs, and these are an older one. Let me see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Exclusively designed for Smarties by Hornsey. So Hornsey um, is a very good pottery company here in the UK. Um, I've sold plenty of their vintage stuff before, um, so I know I will do well with these. This is definitely gonna be something that um, a person would buy because they're nostalgic or they happen to be a big Smarties fan. So if you're a collector of Smarties branding. So anyway, they were one fifty each. I normally like to pay less than that for my mugs, but um, who cares, whatever. And I can pay for them as a set or sell them as a set. I mean, um, the only thing is this particular one looks like it must have had a sticker and it pulled the bottom maker mark off most of the way. So, um, but again, I'm going to sell them together won't really matter and they did come with a cobweb in there and that was free right all kidding aside let's move to the next one okay so this is a little um toothpick holder with a bird please tell me what bird this is if you're into birds because i do not know what bird this is i probably should it looks really familiar i just cannot remember for the life of me at the moment so um very cool and the maker is Selzer, if I'm saying that right, um, Studio Selzer England. So I do recognize the maker's mark. I knew it was worth picking up, but I'm not great at pronouncing everything, especially American English being a little different than British English. Um, yeah, I probably butchered it. I'm so sorry, but I got that for 150 next it would be these little now this is a set of three i'll show you the biggest one first stone or is it alabaster i'm not positive um stone like powder dish lidded powder dish um i got this set a set of three for 550 but look at those on there so nice right i mean that's in really good condition no scratches on it uh, sometimes the transfers just you know the scratches just ruin it all don't they so um yeah just lovely and then doo, 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 doo. then there's this one and then which only has one flower on it instead and then same with this one so these little ones so you know powder and then trinket dishes um fabulous so i could separate them but i probably will sell them as a set um they they came together and they belong with somebody who will keep them together right so okay next one <sighs> this set here i got a set of um it's like a little tea set so without without the teapot so Little teacups and saucers, studio pottery. It's a nice, say, like deep, dark, like a hunter green, you know, or forest green. I don't know. But the signature on everything, I can't figure out if that's supposed to be an HM or an HY. What do you think? So those are the two teacups and saucers. Sorry for the noise. And then an open sugar bowl and the little creamer or milk jug. Just, you know, really good condition. No um, 
no cracks and no chips. So the last time I bought a stoneware or earthware creamer like this, that was studio, um, the studio piece, I was so excited about it. I loved it. I got it home and it had a chip on it. I don't know if that happened in travel or if I just was too excited and didn't notice when I bought it. So yeah, anyway, happy to say this does not have a chip.